The Mortal Storm is a 1940 war drama that's one of the first American films to depict the brutality of Nazis. The film follows a family during the Nazis' rise to power. Once the Nazis gain power, the family is split on the intentions of the party. The father, played by Frank Morgan, the daughter, played by Margaret Sullivan, and a family friend, played by James Stewart, sees the tyranny that is to come with the party and disavow it. But the stepsons, played by Robert Stack and William T. Orr, and Sullivan's fiance, played by Robert Young, embrace the party and their beliefs. As time goes on, the divide becomes larger and larger, until the Nazis decide to act against those who refuse to conform. The film is an emotional roller coaster. It takes its time to let you get to know the family, which makes the divide much more disheartening to watch. It's so interesting to watch these young men get swept away in an ideology that they don't even think to question. Of course, James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan are great, but the standout performances are Robert Young and Frank Morgan, both portraying men on complete opposite sides of the political spectrum. Robert Young brings an intensity to his performance that never goes over the top. One of the biggest issues I have with movies from this era is that actors will sometimes overact and come off as silly. And yes, I get that some of that has to do with techniques of the time, and I accept that. But here, Young doesn't overact, so his villainous performance is more believable and threatening. You can feel that he believes in every word he says and that, if you try to cross him, not only will he make you pay, but he'll enjoy doing so in the process. This makes Frank Morgan's performances stand out even more in comparison. Morgan plays professor at a university, and when the party tells him to teach their science, he refuses. The amount of abuse and despair this man goes through is hard to watch. You realize he's standing up for what he believes, and he's too proud to give in to their demands. You admire and sympathize with him, but you also know it's only a matter of time before the party is tired with dealing with his disrespect. I also say that I really like the sets in this movie. Yes, they're obviously fake, but that's actually part of the appeal for me. The fakeness almost gives off that old-timey look, which I love so much. I also have to highlight Frank Borzage's direction. I'll admit that I'm not the biggest fan of his work, but the stuff I like, I really like. I think he does a stellar job with the staging of his actors and getting dynamic performances from everyone. This was actually a really popular film when it came out, but I hadn't heard about it until recently. And from talking to other film aficionados, I wasn't alone. It was strange to me that a film that was so popular and powerful back then has been forgotten by modern viewers. It's a time capsule of the past that still has meaning for our society's future.